Vlogs, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of a different video. I need to sort these monstrosities out, like what the hell are these? They are so grown out and I really, really, really need to do them. So I thought I would sit down this morning and redo my own nails, but I also wanted to film for YouTube and I've done quite a few Build Gel Infill tutorials, so I know you guys don't really need any more of those just yet especially because I did my updated version literally a few weeks ago. So I thought I wanted to film for YouTube and basically take you guys along with me, but I didn't want to do the same kind of video. I wanted to mix it up a little bit. So what I decided to do was for, I'm still going to do my nails for this video, but I thought I would mix it up a little bit and not have like a close up on it. Um, but I'll just be sitting here doing my nails, have a little bit of a chatty video. I've popped a little question box on my Instagram on my story basically answer any of your questions that you might have because yeah i feel like i've not done like a q a kind of video recently so i thought i'd do another one i popped it up um a little while ago so basically i'm going to be doing my nails and answering your questions basically i'm going to be doing a builder gel infill uh, today i literally if you're an tech, you'll understand the situation of having a design on one hand and nothing on the other. I've always got a design on this hand because I'm always like creating like different sets for inspo basically. And I also, I want to change the shape today. I've been square for quite a while. So I thought to myself, I fancy going almond. I think that almond is coming back. Um, I think it's becoming a lot more popular than square now. Um, and yeah, I just want to switch it up because I've had a square for quite a while. So that is basically what we're going to be doing. Um, so I'm going to be, basically, if you've missed any of my Build Gel Infill tutorials, I'll link it in the corner so that you guys can go back and see if that's what you wanted, a more in-depth version, then um, I'll link it in the corner so that you, that you guys can have a look at that one because that one is a lot more in-depth. Um, but today I'm just basically going to be doing it in the background whilst I'm answering your questions. So um, that is what we're going to do. So I will stop waffling as per usual and I will get started. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to file this design off with my e-file. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm going to have to do my right hand as well. So if you see me do my right hand, then you didn't because I look like a, I don't know what I'm doing because it's my non-dominant hand and it's just horrific basically. It's, it's awful to watch. So I'll probably skip through that bit. But um, yeah, I'm just going to file off the design to start off with. Um, I'm not too sure whether you guys are still going to be able to hear me over my e-file. I'm pretty sure you will be, but just in case, I'm just going to quickly file this off and then I'll come back to you when I'm not doing something as noisy. Right, so I've just filed off my design. Well, this hand is just horrific. Honestly, I, does anyone else feel like they aren't even qualified when they're trying to do the nails on the right hand? <laughs> Honestly, it's horrific. But anyways, so I've just filed that off. Um, basically now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be reshaping them. Um, like I say, they are square at the moment. I'm going to be going almond with them. So I'm going to be grabbing my file from Nobu, which is the 182.40 file. And I'm going to be reshaping them. So the first question is, what are your nail predictions for 2023? What do you think will be big next year? So like I just mentioned, I think that almond are going to be V-shaped next year. Um, I think square is going to be, not a thing of the past, but I think that it's almond's turn next year. I literally have seen, coming to the end of 2022, um, a lot more almond kind of uh, shaped nails. And yeah, I just feel like it looks a little bit more classy. Um, and I do love square, don't get me wrong. It's literally not going to be, it, it's, it's not going to be the end of square, definitely not. Um, because do you know what I love? Square French. I literally, oh my God, I can't get over it. Like I, honestly, Square French, I think will have my heart. Each time I feel like I want to change to almond, I change to almond. And then I'll go on Instagram and I'll see somebody that's got like Square French and I'm like, oh, I want Square back. <laughs> and then yeah, it lasts all of two minutes. And especially, I've literally recommended it to quite a few of my clients to try almond. I think on shorter nails, square looks really, really nice. And I feel like now that there is a lot more kind of option design-wise flying around on Instagram, 
um, it's a lot easier to kind of like find designs that will look nice on almond as well. With regards to like designs and stuff, what I think is going to be quite big for 2023, I feel like quite simplistic designs are going to be um, kind of more popular next year. I have seen, I have got a few nail techs that are very, very in depth with their designs um, at the moment. But I just feel like obviously Builder Gel is like the thing at the moment and i think that's going to become even bigger in 2023 um there is a few nail techs that i follow that are normally acrylic um nail techs and even even them they are like coming over to the build gel side having a lot more build gel clients um and i just think that that is going to be kind of like the new thing going forward i've mentioned it in a few videos that i literally have I could count probably on one hand how many acrylic clients that I have. Everything else is build a gel now, um, which I love. Sometimes it's nice to have acrylic clients though, you know, when like you used to doing like biab all day and then you've got like an acrylic client and you're like, ooh. <laughs> um, so yeah, it is quite nice to do, um, you know, just to like mix it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think Builder Gel is going to become even more popular in 2023. Honestly, I am not like an in-depth nail tech at all uh, when it comes to, to nail art. Um, it made me laugh. <laughs> it made me laugh. One of my friends literally had a Christmas appointment the other day. She was like, can you do, do the Grinch? I was like, um, no. <laughs> if you're watching this, you'll know who you are um but yeah i was like no sorry i'd love to say yeah but no i literally can't um it's funny because considering i'm like i can be creative with my designs i literally can't do art to save my life so no i literally cannot cannot do things like that um and i'll openly admit it if somebody can't if somebody asks me for something that i can't do um if there's some if it's something that like i could give it a go then yeah, but I feel like I know myself and like know like if I tried to do the Grinch on your nails, you would literally end up walking out crying. So there's no point in me even trying. Um, so yeah, that was a, a big no-no. Um, but yeah, so I feel like that is going to be more popular for 2023. Um, a lot of like simpler designs that are like still cute, but like and still having like nail art and stuff. Um, but just kind of simplistic stuff. I think that is my kind of vibe anyway. I love like kind of simplistic nail art. I think it just looks so nice and clean and fresh and it's still giving you like a pop of like something on your nails, but yeah, just keeping it quite fresh. This is where I'm up to on my shaping. I've literally just shaped this hand and now I need to battle this monstrosity. It is giving me the ick right now. Um, so I really wish I could get my e-file on it, but it's asking for a problem. I'm not going to lie. It really is asking for a problem. So I'm just going to go and sort my right hand out because nobody wants to watch me struggle with that because I need to concentrate. So I will come back to you once I have sorted the right hand out. So I've literally just reshaped them and done a little bit of my prep. Um, with the e-file just because it's loud so I didn't want it in the background so I've literally reshaped all of my nails now I've done my cuticle prep I just need to go in with my cuticle nippers um, and then uh, dehydrate and then start my builder gel infill um, but yeah like I say I just wanted to get that bit over the way out of the way because it's really loud and I didn't know whether you guys would still be able to hear me um, so anyway we'll carry on with the next question um, so the next question are um, the next question is what are your favourite sets to do? Um, so so I know I've kind of just like gone over um, the fact that I love kind of like I love a bit of nail art. I absolutely love uh, doing a bit of nail art. Um, I'm not really obviously like it's nice every now and again to do like a, a plain block colour that looks nice, but let's be honest, it's a little bit boring. Um, and I honestly, I don't want people to think like that they can't go to an LTech and ask for a plain nude because I see like, I see TikTok videos on it all the time, like about nail techs complaining about like doing a set of nude nails. And then in the comments, people are like, oh my God, you make me anxious to like go to an LTech and ask for nude. Literally, you girls ask for exactly what you want. Um, sometimes it's nice to have like a plain set as a bit of a break, but my favorite nails to do are build a gel with 
kind of like a nude base and a little bit of nail art on the top so I kind of love like either a little bit of pop of glitter or like some I suppose it depends what time of year it is as well um but I'm into like all the pastels in springtime like even for example like when it comes to Christmas like I would love like my ideal set would be like what I would pick would be something like plain build gel set with like some white snowflakes on or like maybe a little bit of glitter something very minimal like that i'm not really into loads of different colors um obviously i do do sets like that and i can like appreciate that you know not everyone's the same and when i do do really colorful sets like i look at them and i'm like oh my god they look amazing um but i just personally wouldn't pick them um now i have clients that go crazy with colors um and i absolutely love getting creative as well but there is nothing better than doing a set of nails that you absolutely love like when you got, when you do nails that like you kind of do in the set and you're thinking oh okay like <laughs> i wouldn't pick this but okay um yeah there's nothing better than doing a set of nails and then being like i absolutely love them like honestly just it gives you the best buzz like when you finish a set of nails and like your clients looking at them like oh my god like i love them and i'm like Tee -hee. you know like it's just such a good feeling having a job that like makes people feel better about themselves like having your nails done is just like the best isn't it um so yeah i'd say those kind of sets are my favorite to do um, a little bit of nail art, nothing too crazy, but just proper cute and simplistic. Um, but like, like I say, a little bit of something on there. Um, so they're probably my fave sets or a French. Absolutely love a French because I actually love to perfect my French. Like I love doing them because each time I think I, I'd love to just give like a lot of thought and like time into it now like it's funny because i see videos as well all the time about people saying oh like i'm in a rush but don't worry i only want french and i'm like <laughs> that's funny because french isn't quick but anyways um yeah I'd say those two so that is that question um the next one is what are your favorite vibes and what are your go-to's at the moment so you've probably um seen this in a different video but I used to be Teddy through and through. Now I've moved on to Biab 19. Biab 19 is my always, it's always like my go-to pickup. If like clients want Biab and don't know what they want, always suggest Biab 19. It is just the most beautiful, natural Biab. It just looks absolutely beautiful. And I just think like, the discoloration like after a few weeks is very very minimal as well but sometimes i felt like teddy could stain a little bit easier um but yeah so bio 19 is definitely my go-to at the moment i don't really feel as though i'm vibing that much with the proper colorful biabs um the see this is what i'm picking up by 19 it's beautiful um yeah i'm not really i know that the gel bottle have brought out quite a few different um colors of biab you know like when they've tried to kind of bring out brown ones and like purple ones and like more of a color rather than like a, a natural kind of go-to um i know that they've tried to do that but i don't know about anyone else but i just don't feel like i'm vibing with it I feel like I would want something a little bit more neutral just so that I can have it as a nice base um, and then do whatever I wanted over the top. I feel like when it's a, it's more of a, a kind of um, pigmented colour, I feel like that is a specific colour in itself and then I would not want that the next time. I don't know. I'm just not... I'm just not vibing with them. I haven't really... And I, I, I also feel like I see loads for sale all the time. You know, as though like nail techs have bought them and then they don't really get picked. So they're selling them. So I'm just a bit like... Mm. But let me know down below in the comments if you guys have tried the, you know, like the more colourful biabs and whether they've been popular because that's another thing I worry about. I don't really feel as though they will be super popular and like I say I might end up being one of those people that end up selling them because they don't get used um so yeah I'm kind of just sticking with the neutrals at the moment I feel like as when I try new biabs 
I'll literally buy a new one and I'll be completely and utterly obsessed with it for ages and that's all I'll use and then I'll buy another one and then I'll go through the same thing with that one um so that's probably what it is with Biob19 at the moment it is my most recent purchase so I think that is why I am like using it all the time um I'm just popping my builder gel on by the way um and we will move on to the next question which is what products would you like to add to your collection at Nobu? So if you don't know, if you're new to the channel, Nobu is my salon supplies business. So me and my cousin have a salon supplies business called Nobu Salon Supplies. And this question is basically just asking what we kind of want to add to um, basically our product range. Um, so we actually do have a product that we have sampled and happy with i basically just need to use it basically whilst i'm doing nails to kind of make sure that although something might look good and we might be happy with the look of it it's also how it basically like works as well so i kind of need to use it um whilst i'm doing nails and basically just make sure that i'm happy with how it works and everything um but yeah we've got another one that is possibly going to be coming out soon um which is really exciting which i won't mention um just in case it doesn't happen i mean it definitely will but just to keep it as a little bit of a surprise but to be honest with regards to the products we want to go all the way we want to have our own gel collections our own acrylic collections we want to do a hell of a lot um we're only just kind of like starting out i mean it was our first year this year and we have done really well uh, with the products that we have so far but basically the the whole reason that we basically wanted to start it was so that the people like based in the uk like where we are we do ship worldwide but would have somewhere to start as like um because basically when i started i didn't have a clue what i was doing what i would need and we basically the aim is to have like a one-stop shop essentially um for those people that basically don't know where to start we have like starter kits available and we basically just wanted to bring that to you um at like a, a reasonable price as well and um, because a lot of another thing like obviously nail products can be super expensive and we just basically wanted to create a brand that would support you know beginners in their journeys and also be able to provide those products at a reasonable like the most reasonable price we can um obviously with us being a small business we unlike places like amazon unlike places like you know like very very big companies that can afford to buy their products in that much bulk it's actually ridiculous um obviously that like is a little bit more difficult for us but we just basically want to try our best to be there to support the beginners obviously i have this channel for beginners as well sorry at this weird angle i'm just setting my bio um yeah just to basically have a bit of a support system in place um for the people that are just starting out because i know when i started i was a little bit thrown in at the deep end and i didn't really know where to go or what to do or who to talk to a lot of the channels were kind of american and i were using products that i couldn't necessarily get and yeah it just works a little bit differently over there so that was the whole point in it basically um so yeah we with regards to product wise obviously we have the nail um side of it and the hair side of it and samantha knows a lot more than i do when it comes to the hairdressing side but with regards to nails there is all sorts of stuff that we want to do we want to go the whole way um and basically in the end be a one-stop shop for everything that you could possibly need so that is the latest with nobu like i say we will keep you updated with the most recent product launch as and when we are kind of able to um but yeah so that is the update on nobu um so i've just finished this is literally just about to finish setting under the lamp so i've just added my builder gel onto these ones i'm going to do my thumb separately and we will move on to the next question so the next question that I've got is, I'm struggling to get nail clientele. What is your advice? 
So I have done a completely separate video on um, basically my tips on gaining clients. Um, I will link it in the top corner. Um, that's probably a little bit more in depth. Um, and my, to be fair, my advice probably won't have changed that much. Um, but just to basically go over what my tips are with clients. Um, basically, when I first started out, it was a little bit difficult with gaining clients because it was locked down. Um, but basically, one thing that I just made basically focused on doing was to keep active on my social media. Um, basically, I would always be creating sets on myself, literally every single day every day i would be creating sets of myself i'd be getting pictures for my instagram you want to make sure that your instagram and your social media is kept up to date and your pictures are popping because otherwise you are just going to blend in with the rest of the nail pictures that when people are searching um a lot of my clients either find me from instagram or through um facebook in your local pages so basically we where i live we have like a, a group facebook and a lot of people recommend me from there um now obviously it would take you know you obviously need to have clients from the local area to for them to kind of recommend you but um i've seen people posting in it as well um you know like posting in those account in those pages to basically say like oh i'm a nail tech in the area this is these are the offers that i've got on at the moment blah 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 but honestly, I seriously feel like the the main thing is your pictures. Your pictures need to be kind of like as good as they possibly can. Like I see people kind of, um, you know, posting pictures that are like, you can't really see the nails properly. Um, I think that's why I'm so fussy with, and I like to make sure that I take my own pictures of like sets that I've done on myself because I can literally stand there, I mean I don't, but I can literally stand there for 20 minutes and take pictures of my nails to make sure I get a nice one. Um, but obviously with a client you can't really do that. Like I very rarely now take pictures of, of clients nails because I feel bad. Like they're stood there like for ages while I'm trying to get a good picture and like obviously they just want to go home, like they've had their nails done, they're, they're like can I leave now? um so yeah like but if it's me i can stand there for as long as i need and, and get a good picture like i think what i might do is i might do a different and like another video on how to take my nail pictures um i don't know whether if you guys follow me on instagram you probably know or can tell from my instagram i am quite fussy with my pictures um i'm fussy with my feed as well like i don't know i feel like I go through phases of like certain kind of the way I want my pictures. Um, right now I am in a phase of doing my own nails like, but even like little things like pop a little like jacket on, you know, that you can kind of have in the picture or like pop a little ring on it just to like make, make your, your pictures pop a little bit. So what I'll do is I will show you, I'll pop in on the screen a picture of how I used to take my nail pictures. So I'll pop it here. This is how I used to take my nail pictures. I'll probably have got this from my Instagram. I've deleted some of them that are horrific. Um, <laughs> and then I will change this now and then I'll pop a different picture on of this is how, this is my updated version of how I take my pictures. So you probably will see the difference. And I feel like the, sorry, a bad angle again. I'm just setting my bio. Um, that's the difference in like, you're making your pictures stand out. Like literally all I did was did the set on myself, popped a like cute little jacket on that you can see in the, that you saw in the picture, popped a little ring on that I got from Primark. And that's it. Like I literally didn't really do much. Um, and yeah, like I've did, I don't even take it on like a, a different camera. I literally just use my phone camera. Um, but yeah, just make sure your pictures are popping because they need to stand out. Um, make sure you're up to date on your social medias. Like for example, if somebody does recommend you on like a, a local site on Facebook, they're gonna click on your Facebook. And if there's no updated pictures or you haven't posted on there in two years, they're probably not gonna come. Um, I literally just link my Instagram to my Facebook so that whenever I post on Instagram, it goes to Facebook. Um, I literally, that's all I do. Um, 
and people just find me from there. Um, so yeah, if you're struggling with clients, that means that you'll have the time to do sets on yourself, keep practicing, keeping up to date with trends and just keep posting. Like honestly, my Instagram, like Instagram winds me up these days because the engagement on it is just horrific. Um, but I don't care. Like I'll just keep posting. Like I love creating different sets and I don't really, I don't do it for, you know, I mean, it, it sounds wrong to say I don't do it for people to see it. Of course, I'd do it for people to see it. But I think sometimes people can get too fix, fixated on like likes and followers. And that really, really doesn't matter. As long as you're getting clients, it doesn't matter. As long as you're getting seen by, you know, a few hundred people, then that's literally all that counts. Like, because those 300 people are all potential clients. Um, so, yeah, that's what you've got to focus on, really. I'm just... I would take a little bit, like, bit of time to, like, just... I mean, to be honest, I haven't even looked at... The girl who asked, who asked this question, I haven't even looked at your Instagram. You, you might, like, proper put a lot of effort into your Instagram. I think a lot of people do these days. Um, but, yeah, just be consistent and literally just keep up to date on all of your um, social medias and they will come to you. Um, and just... Or maybe even try, like, a little like deal like maybe like hands and toes for x amount of pounds or whatever because obviously it'll differ with your um area as well with the prices um but yeah just keep trying don't give up um and honestly the clients will find you and the as you find clients as clients find you literally you will then be recommended like word of mouth as well like people are like oh my god i love your nails where did you get them done so, like, that will be another thing as well. So, just keep trying and don't give up. Okay, so this is where we're up to. I have applied and refined on this hand. And I've applied on this hand. I just need to refine. So, I'm going to be doing this while I answer the next question. So, the next question is... Which one shall we go for? Um... Okay, uh, what is your favourite season for nails? Um, I'm going to have to go for spring. I think I'm going to go for spring um, because, yeah, I just love, I love spring. I feel like we've just come out of, like, winter. We're getting into the nice lush weather again. The colours are coming back popping. And, yeah, I just feel like... I love all the pastels like the pastel colors for me are just absolutely to die for um absolutely love them like just very subtle which is what i like um so yeah i'm gonna have to go for spring i think um the next one how do you learn new nail art techniques i absolutely wing life that's what i do to learn <laughs> learn new nail art techniques um I actually very rarely watch YouTube videos, to be fair. I'm like new, considering I make them. I don't very often watch them. Um, I see a lot of stuff on Instagram. But like I say, I'm actually not good at art. Like, I am more of like a simplistic nail tech, I think. That's how I like to describe myself. Um, so a lot of stuff that I see is, I just kind of like probably like quite simple and like self-explanatory as to how to do it um or like if i was and like a lot of a lot of like the uh nail techs that i follow on instagram as well do like little um tutorials as to how they do their sets like uh alicia nail artist um does a lot of like reels and stuff you know how to create so like rather than just posting the picture she'll do like a video of how she created it and then like the end result which is really cute um so yeah a lot of stuff that i try is stuff that is like a mixture of stuff that I already know how to do or if it's something that I've not done before that is pretty self-explanatory because like I say, I'm actually not very good. Um, like I'm, I'm just not very good at art. Um, now, a lot of a lot of nail techs are very, very good, um, which is hard because I used to kind of like compare myself, I think, and look at nails and think, oh my God, how the hell have they done that? Um, but then I just think, well, that's not my niche. I'm like quite simplistic um, and minimalistic. And yeah, it's just how I like my nails. So I'm just going to carry on doing that. Um, 
the next question is how do you continue to develop your skills um i don't know i think it's all just practice isn't it i feel like you can literally go and do a course on nails and they pretty much give you the idea of what to do but it's all down to you like practice and practice literally does make perfect well doesn't make perfect because i'm still not perfect but it, it's actually mad because like i look back at now i look back now at like my nails a year ago and i thought they were like amazing and i'm like hon what were you doing like what were you actually doing um so yeah and i feel like i'll probably still do that in a year's time like literally right now like i will look at my nails and be like oh my god pop in love them and then i'll look back at them in like a year and i'm like sis you good wait what, what were you thinking so yeah i feel like you just go through phases don't you like i look at my instagram like one two years ago and a it makes me want to bath to be quite honest with you but and that was just part of part of my journey you know you just have to embrace it um so yeah I literally just practice that's how i continue to develop my skills that's i literally just practice um i'm part of a lot of like groups on facebook you know like um the um you know like the gel bottle one the gliss bells one and there's loads of different stuff on there you know like different like um things that other nail techs have tried out and i'll like be like oh i'll give that a go or just stuff like that basically um so yeah i'd say that um <laughs> this next question makes me want to cry um it says what are your top three favorite nail colors from the gel bottle I mean, who can who can have a top three? I feel like the only possible way for me to answer this question is if we do it from the season that we're currently in. Because I could not pick three. Like, honestly, I could not pick three. If it was literally out of like all seasons, not a chance, wouldn't be able to do it. So what I'm gonna do to be able to answer this question is to just go off the season that we're in now, which is winter is it actually classed as winter yet i don't actually think it is i don't think it is winter i think it's still classed as autumn i'm not too sure i might be wrong um but the kind of year that we're in the kind of time of year that we're in now so i've got my book here so let's open it up i mean how am i supposed to pick three from these because they're all cute but what i'm gonna go for is i'll get the bottles they'll probably be easier my three faves from this time of year I'm gonna go for brunette, elf, and oh, I know. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Hang on. So these are my three picks, which two of them are pretty much the same. Um, elf is my all-time fave at the moment. It is this reflective green glitter, which has been so so popular. I absolutely love it. Then the next one is gonna be brunette which is the most beautiful chocolate colour. I feel like this should actually be called chocolate because it's more like chocolate than chocolate. Um, so yeah, definitely brunette. I just think it is the most beautiful colour ever. And then my third pick is After Dark, which is also a brown colour, but it's got like this red tinge to it. And I just think it's absolutely stunning. And I absolutely love them. Every time I do a set with any of those colours, I am like, yes, love them um so yeah that is me all refined um i'm not going to do a design in this video because i think this is going to be really really long i've waffled far too much um and i'm very sorry i just wanted to answer some of your questions so we are all refined now um i'm just going to top coat like i say i'm not going to get the design in this video because i don't want it to be too long i'm going to be doing a separate christmas design video anyway so um yeah i will include any design that i do on these in that video so i'm just going to top coat and i will answer the next question well the last question so this one says how to deal with the anxiety of the christmas rush so <laughs> i am very much of a wing it person but what i feel like my advice would be <laughs> which i need to listen to my own advice um is to only book in you know what you think you are capable of literally do not give in to pressure from clients that say 
oh my god i was meant to book in and i forgot is there no way you can squeeze me in you know and like squeezing them into like stupid gaps that you are just going to stress yourself out over literally do not feel like you have to like please everyone because it is not possible just do what you know you are capable of and don't stress yourself out about trying to fit people into gaps that do not even exist um because you're just going to end up like literally wearing yourself out um i think that's what i'm going to do this year i am literally just trying to be realistic about the situation and i know some nail techs have very strict policies in place when it comes to christmas i on the other hand don't really like you know tell my clients to do anything particular like literally some nail techs are like you know if you book in for no no nail art like you're not getting nail art stuff like that people are very very strict with it which is absolutely amazing i on the other hand like i just i'm too soft to be that strict like honestly i'm far too soft with it um, and i know that i should be more you know stricter with policies and stuff um but yeah it's it's hard to it's hard to do when like you're very much of like a i don't know i'm just not very i'm i am a very relaxed person and i think that probably bites me in the bum in situations like this because i'm just like oh it'll be fine it'll be fine and then i'm like no georgina it's not going to be fine like you need these policies in place <laughs> So, yeah, I would just do that. I'd make sure... Oh, and also make sure you are stocked up on everything you're going to need. I was literally looking the other day and thinking, my top coat is running low. I was like, I need to get another one before the Christmas rush. Because, honestly, the amount of clients that I've got in that week running up to Christmas is absolutely disgusting. Um, and, yeah, just make sure you are prepared. Make sure you're stocked up on the products that you're definitely going to need. Make sure you're not booking silly appointments that are being squoze in gaps that don't exist. Um, and try not to overthink the nail art situation as well. If it makes you feel better, ask your clients prior to the appointment what kind of nail art they're wanting, if any. Um, just because if you do get a little bit worried about what design they're going to ask for in case, like, you think, oh, my God, I won't be able to do that or whatever... Just ask them for a picture of what they've got in mind that they're going to want before um, the appointment. Because that way you can also time it as well to know how long it's going to take you to do it. Um, so, yeah, just just those few bits, I think, really. Um, I think they will help you out a lot. I am just finishing these now with Top Coat. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Yeah, I just wanted to mix it up a little bit. I didn't want to do another build a gel infill because i know you guys have seen those plenty of times and you know exactly how i do my build a gel infills this is actually the first time that i've done a video doing my right hand which i hope has not been too scarring for you because it is not a pretty sight of me trying to do my right hand these are my little updated um nailsies which are a lot nicer than when we first started um i'm just gonna literally just uh, doing the last 10 seconds on this setting they are all done now um so i'm just gonna pop some cuticle oil on and start my design and um yeah hopefully you guys will see it if you follow me on instagram i'll pop it on there and um yeah thank you so so much for your questions guys i really appreciate it and hopefully you guys found them helpful as well um like i say if you have any more either message me on instagram or leave them in the comments whatever you like and I will try my best to help you thank you so so much for watching and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video bye